Hello. Um, thank you all for being here tonight. And thank you especially to Athlete Ally for allowing me this incredible honor of presenting this award to Terry Miller and Andrea Yearwood. Yes, come on. So Terry and Andrea are examples of the very best that sport has to offer. They have, with empowered grace, risen above systemic attacks on the participation of trans people in athletics. We will someday look back on the way that we as a society have tried to police some women and girls out of the category of woman with deep shame. And we will also someday remember the names Terry Miller and Andrea Yearwood as two pioneering young black women who modeled what it means to survive and thrive even in the face of mean-spirited and cruel attacks. <laughs> Anti-trans voices have tried to use athletics to claim that trans people are not who we say that we are, to suggest that we can only exist in society on terms that others set for us. But you both have modeled what it means to say no. No, we will not be silent or bullied into denying the truth of who we are. We will not forget the long histories of trans people who came before us and taught us that we deserve to live every minute of every day as ourselves. You are both my heroes. When I wake up every day to fight for trans justice, I think of you too. I hope that I can live my life with even a fraction of the strength and kindness and impact that you two have already brought to the world. Thank you for being you, for fighting fights you never should have had to fight, and in so doing, making the world better for others, and for saving the lives of people who you may never meet, but who will remember you and your names as a reminder of the beautiful magic that comes when you find the strength to be exactly who you are. You deserve every honor. And tonight, I am humbled to present you with this one. So please come up. Thank you to Athlete Ally for this award. It especially means a lot to, to me to accept this alongside my friend, Terry. Her friendship and support means the world to me in almost every aspect imaginable. We love and build each other up on and off the track. At every track meet, I always make sure to greet her with either a wave or a hug, and she'll do the same to me. Since going through the struggles that we, ha that we have had to go through, she has been a constant light of positivity, and that helps me motivate. That helps me be motivated. I am forever grateful for her friendship. Right. There are two things I've known about myself for most of my life. I'm a girl, and I love to run. I, I love how running makes me feel and the way it allows me to excel at something that I'm passionate about. When I'm running, I'm in the moment, I'm happy, and it makes me feel free. Running is, all, running is also just one part of who I am. I'm a girl who loves running and who also loves traveling, learning new languages, and going to the mall with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> In Connecticut, where I live, student athletes are allowed to compete based on their gender identity. I joined my high, I joined my high school girls track team and began to win, me, win meets in the 100 meter dash. That is when pa some parents and some students started to say things about me. Most of the time, I'm able to shake off what people say, but sometimes it makes me feel uncomfortable knowing that these strangers could harm me at any moment. It scares me that this is the reality for so many other trans girls and women of color out there too. We live in a world where we're constantly under attack for who we are. Trans women of color are more likely to be targets of hate crimes and to be denied jobs and housing because of who we are. We're more likely to face poverty, addiction, and suicide. Sports can change our lives for the better, giving us community and the outlet we need to be mentally and physically healthy. Many of the people who say hurtful things about, about and to me are parents. I just want them to know that just like they wish for their child to have a happy and fulfilling life, my parents, my parents wish the same for me, and I wish the same for myself. There you go. 
Fortunately, I have the love of my family, and I live in a state where my rights are protected. However, that's not the case for everybody. And so I feel that it's important that I speak out and that I stand in solidarity with Terry and with every trans woman of color who, who has to fight simply to be who she is and to compete in the sport that she loves. There is a myth out there that trans women are trying to take over women's sport. I'm a woman and I love sports. I train hard to make my team and my family proud and I've worked hard for every victory that I've won. It gives me hope that I'm not alone in this fight. Athlete Ally is working with athletes like NBA player Reggie Bullock to speak out in support of the trans community and to have colleges, professional teams, and governing bodies about the trans inclusive policies. It is so important that we have cisgender allies speaking out in support of the trans community so that it's not just us all of the time. We need your voices in your action. I'm asking each one of you tonight to think about how you can support the trans person in your life or those you don't know personally. If you hear someone make a joke about trans people, speak up. If you hear someone say trans people are taking over sport, tell them that trans people are people and we're not taking over anything. We simply want to take part in the sport that we love. There are so many forces against me in this world but I refuse to let them win. Thank you to those who stand with me. Thank you to those who stand with me. Together, we can and we will make a difference. Thank you again to Athlete Ally for this honor. And now I'd like to, I would like to turn the mic over to my friend, Terry Miller. I gotta hold the phone kind of close, I'm kind of blind. <laughs> thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much, Andrea, and thank you to Athlete ILI for honoring me with this award. I also want to say what it means to me to be on stage tonight with my friend Andrea. Having her as a close friend along this journey has meant the world to me. My name is Terry Miller. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm a girl and a runner. Runner, running helped me, has helped me make many friends and to be part of a team and be the best version of myself. I know participating in sports helps trans people survive. Not only does it keep us healthy, but it gives us a release from the stress we experience from facing discrimination every day. Sports, sports are just a hobby. Having access to sports is a human right. Throughout the history of sports, women have been told that there is no place for us. Black girls have been excluded and our bodies have been politicized. Trans women has have been told to stay out and stop being who we are. Despite all of this, I stand here today as a black trans woman who will not stop running and I will never stop being who I am. <laughs> um, like Andrea, I feel lucky to live in a state that protects my rights, but I also feel like this shouldn't be about luck. Any trans girl who loves sports like I do should be able to participate in the sports she loves. This is why we need lawyers like Chase, and we need organizations like ACLU and Athlete Ally who help advocate for us and make sure that our policies are still there and we're protected. Having policies and trainings like this in place are important because they help create a welcoming environment for athletes who environment for athletes even before they join the team. I want to know that when I'm competing, I'm seen as a teammate just like everyone else and treated with the same level of respect. Because Andrea and I have spoken out, we've gotten a lot of public attention. Sometimes that can be very overwhelming. I think people forget that we're just normal teenager girls who love to run. <laughs> we are going to keep running and keep fighting. I'm fighting for trans women of color to live the full, happy, we live the lives we all deserve. Thank you.